Hello, in this video I'm making a chicken fricassee. It's a beautiful French dish uh, with some chicken thighs and I've got chicken stock. So that's from a previous video of mine and I thought I'd show you another way to use up that chicken stock because it's really lovely. Anyway, this is a classic French dish. It's really, really gorgeous. I won't go on about it. I'm going to crack on with it and I know you're going to really like this one. There you go. On the screen is the full recipe. Feel free to pause that and write that down, but I will also post it in the description below if you want to copy and paste it. So on with the preparation, it's not very complicated. I've got some fresh parsley there, I'm just roughly slicing up. One onion, in the UK we call that a white onion, but I believe in the States you might call it a yellow onion. Uh, just dicing. I'm not being too fussy about this. It will be staying in the dish in the end, but it's gonna be cooking for a while, so just not too big. And then just, I don't like to waste a bit of the core, so I like just to chop round and round, and so there's only that little bit that goes. And by now, if you're making stocks, you can pop that in your stock, can't you? And if you are making stocks, do let me know in the comments how you're getting on with it, and you know, is it elevating your your uh, your cooking game? And uh, so anyway, there's uh, some chestnut mushrooms, or button mushrooms, any type of mushrooms would be fine. I'm quartering mine, and I've just I'm just looking for bits of grit and dirt and removing it with my hands rather than washing them. I don't, I don't find it necessary to wash them. So they're done. On with the thighs. So the thigh is my favourite bit of the chicken. The skin on and the bone in. There is no alternative. It is just the best. Um, you can always cook with the skin on and remove it later if you don't want to eat the skin, but it does. It adds an awful lot of flavour to the dish. A thorough seasoning, salt and pepper on the skin, and then flip them over on, on the fleshy side as well. And they're going to go into a hot pan. So I've had behind me a nice heavy base, like this cast iron pan, warming up. Use a heavy based pan if you can. If it's got a lid, even better. But if it doesn't, you can use like a tray or something to cover this later. But skin side down and get them all nice and golden. So look, you can see different parts of the pan may be hotter than others. So just adjust them, move them around a little bit until they go, oh, that looks really nice. That lovely golden brown color. Yes, I'm having that. Flip those over, give those a couple of minutes on that side, just a little bit more color there. So basically the browning of meat adds flavor. It also makes it look nice, but the flavor is the key thing. It changes everything. So they're out. Now with the chicken fat, and I had a bit of oil and butter, well I use lard. There's now, even for me, that's a bit too much fat. So I poured away about half of that. And now I'm gonna sweat these onions, but I didn't throw the fat away because I intend to use it later. I will show you in a minute or so. So cooking off the mushrooms first, I think they take a bit longer to do. And you see that me scratching away at that gorgeous stuff. That's called the fond. Never lose that. That is, that's where it's at. So we can use the, the vegetables to kind of deglaze the pan. So just get all of that off. After a couple of minutes in went the onions and followed shortly by the garlic. I've got the heat now down a bit lower, kind of medium low, something like that. There's no rush here. In with the herbs, I've got some parsley going in. Uh, sorry, some thyme going in now, and then a little bit of the parsley, but not all of it. We're keeping some back for the for the finishing of the dish. And um, I'm happy now. Yep, that's all looking good. Now the fat doesn't seem to be very much in there now, does it? So I'm going to add a bit more of that fat that we took away, and in with the flour. So that is to create what's known as a roux. Uh, it's a, a traditional technique for thickening sauces. So just stir that around for a minute or so. We haven't got to go too long. We're not looking to cook this out because it's going to be cooking for quite a while with all the other ingredients. So the, the, the raw flour will be cooked out anyway, but just get that incorporated and then with the wine. And then we're going to give that wine just a, a few minutes to reduce a little bit to sort of boil off most of the alcohol. And, and we'll, we'll taste it as well. So we're reducing the amount of liquid there. You can see that. So over a few minutes, you can see it thickening though. That's the flour thickening it as it just simmers there. So we've got this down now. You're always adjusting the temperature so that it's a simmer. And if it ever feels like it's catching on the bottom, turn it down and, and just really stir it vigorously with a wooden spoon or something like that. So in with the chicken stock, back in with the chicken pieces. Wonderful. Plus those are the juices that rested out of it. And you can see how much it's simmering there. I decided to add a bay leaf. You don't have to do that. And on with the lid. And like I said earlier, if you haven't got a pan with a lid like that, a tray, a cooking tray, you know, something like that, it'll be fine. Just try to stop most of the liquid 
evaporating. And I, what I was doing there, I was, after about 15 minutes of cooking, I was seeing, are they tender? No, and they're not, they weren't really cooked at that stage. But another 15 minutes or so, they're now ready. They're nice and tender. They're fully cooked. The knife was going in nice and easily. Hoik those out um, and then get the cream in. So this is creme fraiche, if you want to sound all fancy. Uh, double cream will be all right, heavy cream. You might find it a little bit too rich. So if it does taste a bit rich, squeeze a lemon juice or something like that. We'll just bring back a little bit of the acidity. It's a balance, you know, richness, acidity. It's all um, it's all your palate. You taste it and you, until you're happy with it. But basically, I wanted to reduce that sauce down to make it a bit richer. It's a very luxurious sauce there. But that wasn't absolutely essential. You could have, as soon as you put the cream in, you could have just put the chicken in and given it a few minutes of simmering and it would have been absolutely fine. The sauce would have just been a bit looser, a bit wetter. And I wanted it like that. Look at it. Oh, umptious. Oh my God, it's good. And uh, we're basically done now. So there you go. More parsley on top just to make it look nice. And we're going to serve this sort of buffet style. That's what you do. You put it on a board, on the table. You've got a couple of dishes of veg to go with it. And you're going to give that to the family. They're going to dive in and they're going to think you're the boss. They're going to absolutely love you for that. And so I'll just give myself a bowl of it now. Some of that gorgeous sauce. I am salivating as I remember how lovely this was. And yes, it's nice and tender. So all that's left now is a pour a glass of wine and we're gonna hand you over to me for the tasting. So chicken fricassee, delightful, methinks. Mm. How does it taste? So the chicken is cooked nice and slowly. That's why I like the thigh so much. It's got so much more flavor but needs a bit more slow cook to become tender. Mmm. Tastes great. It's been absorbing the lovely flavors from the chicken stock and the wine and the garlic and everything. It's, oh my God, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. I'm going to do some damage to that in a minute. Um, what else can I say? It's a delightful, simple, classic French-style dish um, that I first made back in the 90s at, at college when I was training to be a cook. Anyway, and um, tastes better now. <laughs> that version tastes better than the first version I made. That was wonderful. Um, thank you ever so much for watching and joining in and liking and subscribing and all those things and comments. Much appreciated all along the way. And I'll, um, I'll catch you again pretty soon. Bye-bye. Salut. Santé. Skol. Start again.